I promised I was going to redo my technical reviews. And so today what I'm going to do is walk you through the creation of something. So this is me. I'm going to launch Microsoft Word. And I'm going to open the LinkedIn article that I posted today. So you'll notice right at the top, LinkedIn 31. By the way, for those of you who are interested, if you want to turn on Copilot and Microsoft Word, Say, for example, you're interested in, oh, I don't know, how about a summary of this particular article, right? It comes back. It gives you a very nice summary, right? Here's a summary of the document. The document discusses the author's concerns and perspective on the transition from digital transformation to information age, emphasizing the role of artificial intelligence and digital identity systems. So that's pretty good, All right? So then what I'm gonna do is file, and I'm gonna do a save as, and I'm gonna save this as a PDF, because that's the rest of what we're gonna do here in just a couple seconds. So I do file, save as, PDF, it's gonna say replace it, because I, I obviously tested what I was doing beforehand. It opens up Adobe, I absolutely love uh, Adobe because it's really good and yes I do have a full license and yeah I absolutely love it and use it all the time uh, which is a, a tool set that I frequently use now you'll notice that there is no browser open so I'm going to open and this is uh, Google Chrome you don't have to run this tool it is a Google tool uh, you don't have to run it with uh, Google Chrome uh, this is the uh, Gen 3 Alpha version or uh, what is Runway, but we're not playing with Runway today. We're playing with the wonderful new toolkit called Notebook, Notebook LM from Google. Uh, I really, really like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Notebook. It asks you to add a source. Now, remember, I saved that document that we were talking about as a PDF. Now my madness uh, becomes a little bit more clear. I saved it as a PDF because that is the, the format that you need to use uh, to use Notebook LM. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go into my LinkedIn folder where I saved it. And you'll see there is a PDF, LinkedIn 31. I'm going to double click on that and it's going to pop up. And now I'm going to generate the podcast. I will share the podcast on my Patreon so you can go uh, download it. I will not put it on the, the charge version. I haven't set that up yet anyway. Um, but now you have uh, a summary over here on this side, right? So the source discusses the evolution of technology and the concept of the information age. The author argues that we are currently in the age of machine intelligence characterized by systems like large language models that can process and generate information but cannot yet write their own code. So, you know, we're it's pretty close. I, I would say of the two, Copilot was probably a little bit more spot on to what I was trying to do. Um, but the, the cool thing about Notebook LM is the ability to create this two-person podcast with voices uh, generated by AI. And I'll have to say, it is really, really cool. And I will uh, post that or share that um, <clears throat> later on, as I said, on my Patreon. So you can take a look at it and listen to it and, and see what you think. You can also go, actually go onto LinkedIn if you want. And if you look for, for my name, Scott Anderson, you can go find my LinkedIn articles. Uh, and so it is always interesting. So that is today's extended review. Uh, thank you very much. New format. So let me know what you think about the new format. I thought about even integrating and using uh, my favorite tool, Camtasia, and actually doing the screenshots. So we'll see if this works better for people. We'll use this. If not, I'll do uh, the next tier. Have a great day.